I'm so grateful today to welcome Sohai Abro, who is a contemporary dancer, a very famous uh, celebrity in Pakistan, and who is who does wonders to her movements and her dance, who tells you stories which are uh, heartwarming, and I am always glad and honored to be the part of her concerts, her, uh, her sessions, her dance performances. And today, she is going to talk about how dance and sexuality connect, what actually dance means, and how to express it, and what are the wrong concepts and the right concepts, what are the power of healing through dance. And I am so excited to uh, be with you today, so I and uh, heading over this stage to you. Welcome. Thank you so much, Shivani. Um, and I'm really happy um, that you guys are, you know, doing these sessions. Um, I'm sure everybody gets to hear different things every time. Um, so I'm going to go right into it. Uh, we're going to talk about what dance really is. I think um, dance, um, you know, is entertainment or something that you see on stage. Yes, it is. It is meant to make you happy, it's meant to um, entertain you and all of that, but um, it's much more than that. So I want deeply jana uh, Dance is first of all movement, okay? We all move. Um, when, since, the, since the day we're conceived in our mother's bellies, we move, okay? Um, and then what you know dance becomes is um, definitely something much more spiritual it uh, it doesn't have to be something that um, has to have a form and all those things of course you learn forms um, but it it really starts from that it starts from just movement so even if you're just doing this you're dancing if you're just doing the dancing, okay? You don't have to be like technically good. You don't have to do all those things to become a dancer. No, we do it because we're professional dancers. Um, when you're in a profession, you have to definitely go deeper into things. What I'm here to tell you today is that dance is not just meant for um, people who are, I don't know, fit or people who are um, active or people who can dance, okay? Um, now let's talk a little bit about what does it mean to be able to dance and not be able to dance. A lot of people say that I don't like to dance or you like to dance or you like to dance. Dance comes to everyone. Dance... Uh, music, um, these things are as natural as, I don't know, um, the blood rushing through our veins or uh, feeling hunger or, you know, feeling thirst. I don't know, pani pina hai aapko, khana khana hai. Um, that's how natural it is. The moment um, you feel, you know, um, happy or a little bit of something, your body, like, Physically, you feel a change, right? Um, you know, your body changes. You feel that thing inside you. Um, so that is what dance is basically. Mere liye dance it is such a simple thing. After that, of course, there are forms. Hai. Usme, um, you know, there is ballet, there is contemporary, there is Kathak, Bharatanatyam, or hip-hop, and um, all, all these, you know, salsa, tango. These are all forms. And they are like we learn language. Like I speak English, or I speak Sindhi, or I speak Urdu. Bolti hun. So all these languages are what these dance forms are all about. Dance in its purest form 
is as simple as movement and just as simple as connecting with yourself. Okay. Um, now, what does it mean to connect with yourself um, through dance? It means that um, you want to let go. Kehna bahut asaan hai ki aap apne aap ko chhod dein, let go kare. But um, these these concepts are not easy to like just you know for me to just bring words to. Especially jo bhi ye physical cheeze hoti hain, hum aksar dancers ye baat kehte hain ki in cheezon ke baare mein it's so much easier to just do it rather than speak about it because we physically experience it it's very hard to put it in in words but i'm going to try my best to try and explain to you okay um so what does it mean to connect uh, with yourself through dance or through movement okay let's let's take for example um you don't even need music for it every time you just need uh, first of all a state of mind okay what state of mind are you in are you feeling happy are you feeling frustrated are you feeling angry are you feeling mixed emotions you're feeling longing you're missing somebody but you're also happy to be where you are um or whatever it is maybe you're angry with yourself emotions ka koi um you know we can't label them there's just so many sometimes i don't have names for them let's call it whatever mixed emotions you have you're in that state of mind and silence is what you need first silence not in just terms of what you hear uh even if you have music on you just want to close your eyes and you just want to first focus on how you're breathing how you're feeling internally how you're standing how you're sitting how your uh, body is feeling if it's feeling like stiff just relax yourself you know so first thing is to really just quiet everything down and you really have to um go in in inwards and see and feel how you're uh, feeling inwards okay or within your body within your feelings within your thoughts after that you allow movement to happen okay without speaking any words without letting too many thoughts bother you and the thing that we often talk about is ki agar um you're trying to just you know connect with yourself but you have so many thoughts and emotions and um you're distracted you're thinking about mujhe ye khana pakana hai phir wahan koi intezar kar raha hai mujhe ye cheez email bhejni hai hazar cheeze aapke dimag mein aa rahi hai but you really want to think about um accepting जो भी चीज आपके अंदर आ रही है जो भी थॉट आ रही है इट्स लाइक मेडिटेशन ऑनेस्टली इट्स जस्ट लाइक मेडिटेशन वॉट आई एम सींग अबाउट डांस हीलिंग थ्रू डांस और वॉट शिवानी हैज यू नो टॉक्ट अबाउट एंड वॉट शी वॉन्ट्स एस टू एड्रेस टूडे हीलिंग थ्रू डांस इज रियली ऑल अबाउट मेडिटेशन द ओनली डिफरेंस इज दैट वंस यू फाउंड दैट इंटरनल कनेक्शन You just allow movement to happen. अब उसमें टेक्निकल चीजें जो आती हैं वो हैं कि यू जस्ट हैव टू लाइक एक्टिवेट डिफरेंट बॉडी पार्ट आप उठाते हैं नींद से उठाते हैं अपनी बॉडी को अक्सर हमारी बॉडी एक तरीके से चल चल के उसको आदत हो जाती है कि अच्छा मेरे हाथों को एक्टिव होने की जरूरत है फाइन आई एम गोइंग टू डू दिस और माई माउथ बिकॉज आई लाइक टू आई हैव टू स्पीक आई हैव टू I have to chew my food, so like this part of my body will be activated. Great. Um, इसी तरह से a lot of like few parts of our bodies are usually activated. बाकी की जो हिस्से हैं वो सो जाते हैं because उनको हम उठाते ही नहीं हैं, उनसे हम बात ही नहीं करते. So the idea is to really like find what those places are, the space behind your ears. How do you activate that? 
you know if i'm if i'm activating it how do you know i've activated it okay so the point is you don't want the other person to know um or you don't want to care about the other person knowing that you've activated or you're like working on it you know um one it's great to do it on your own if you're in a class um you always have to do this for yourself and so um i think really first the first thing um is to be in the present and connect with different parts of your body waking it up usme of course now when you move you don't have to think about dancing if i want to do something with my shoulders i can just i have to like kind of find all the different ways that it can move in that doesn't mean i am dancing the way people think dance is supposed to be like i should you know like again be entertaining that's not the point the point is to no matter if i want to do it gently if i want to do it very slow if i want to speed it up and just see how it feels inside okay jab hum physically apni body ke sath connect kar jate hain uske baad bari aati hai hamare emotions ki hamare thoughts ki उन चीजों को हम किस तरह क्योंकि हम बहुत सारे ख्याल बहुत सारे एहसास अपनी बॉडी के अंदर रखते हैं यू ऑफिन हियर पीपल सेइंग ओ आई बिन स्ट्रेसिंग अ लॉट तो मेरे शोल्डर्स में दर्द हो गया या मेरी गर्दन में दर्द है प्लीज मुझे दबा दो यहाँ पे या सर में दर्द हो रहा है यू नो ये सारी ऑल दीज थिंग्स लाइक आर इमोशन और आर आर थॉट दे विल लाइक गो एंड सिट इन पार्ट ऑफ योर बॉडी एंड दे विल हर्ट यू in your back in your lower back a lot of people get it um you know in in their chest also so um once you physically like allowed yourself to let go connect with that you're also breathing consciously not just i'm sitting and i'm breathing of course i'm alive but it's a conscious way of breathing when you really you really want to take your time to breathe in and take your time to breathe out i think the other thing as i spoke about silence and remember it's not about sound wala silence but just like quieting everything down you also want to th- think about um slow you know we don't want to worry so much about reaching our goals or like reaching yes i want to heal now you know like oh maybe i'm uh, this is meant to make me cry um i should cry now no you don't have to rush you don't have to rush anything um the slower you do these things the better um and the faster you're able to um ah uh, okay i i just saw comments thank you so the slower you are the faster you're able to go into it okay just you have to trust yourself okay so hamesha jo bhi i aap chahe yoga kare chahe aap meditation kare just be slow just like make sure that you're gentle to yourself and you're not rushing into things so jab as i was speaking ki physically hum ek dafa apni body ke sath connect kar gaye hain uske baad um aur ye ek hi session mein ya ek hi usme ye nahi hoga um या आप एक ही दफा ट्राई करेंगे तो ये नहीं होगा यू हैव टू कॉन्स्टेंटली कनेक्ट टू दैट डीपर पार्ट ऑफ योर सेल्फ एंड देन यू विल बी एबल टू फाइंड आउट व्हाट इज इट दैट यू आर होल्डिंग ऑन टू यू नो आर यू होल्डिंग ऑन टू समथिंग फ्रॉम योर पास्ट इज इट सिटिंग समवेयर इन योर बॉडी इफ यू फील लाइक इट्स सिटिंग समवेयर इफ अ पार्ट ऑफ योर बॉडी फेल्ट आई डोंट नो सम पेन सम ट्रॉमा thinking about something from the past something from now something from i don't know something that makes you anxious about the future just i don't know put a nice like hand on that part okay let's say my chest i usually feel things in my stomach but for now i just put it here so you really want to just take your time put that hand on to any body part even if it's your cheeks just touch is very important not just from our parents when we are children i know most of us don't get it 
most of us are lucky to have it but i think touching yourself is also important you know um we often say no um i don't know i don't know what we say <laughs> uh i'm a very different person but mujhe pata hai ki hamari society mein um touch is or dance or body is always sexual um there's much more to the body much more to touch um than it being sexual um sex is a separate thing um it has its own value it has uh, you know it has to be given its own separate priority or respect whether you're a man or a woman but when we're talking about connecting to your body whether you're in clothes or not in clothes um i think there's no harm in touching yourself you know or like just just feeling how the texture of your skin is just like giving yourself love you know if you do it for your friends if you do it for your partners your children your parents your grandparents do it for yourself as well you know and uh, as dancers we're often taught to like even massage ourselves um just to no pressure points but that's just to like get rid of something but i think it's really nice in a way that we get to do that we learn how to you know massage ourselves because that way you're also making connection with yourself you know so once you found um something that you're holding on to some emotion that you're holding on to um nimarta that's exactly what i'm speaking about how do movements actually bring healing um so first i talked about how physically you connect to your body and you allow movement to happen um and then now i'm at the point where aapke jo thoughts hain aapke khayalat hain aapke emotions hain or if there's something you're holding on to from the past something jo abhi aapki zindagi mein ho raha hai abhi aap kis tarah feel kar rahe hain um aur sabse pehle zaruri hota hai ki abhi present mein hum jaye foran hum piche ya aage na chale jaye um i'm only speaking i'm i'm not um you know a psychologist or a psychiatrist i'm uh, just someone who works a lot with movement and healing and dance um and besides that i'm also a professional dancer so um i'm only speaking of uh, from my own you know um uh, journey or things that i've learned from my teachers from my peers and you know things that i do with my students so um once connect you've connected physically you then bring your thoughts into it your emotions into it and and you let go with your movement now what does it mean to let go with your movement um for example let me get up you so if i am just allowing myself to if i've connected i've closed my eyes i've connected to the silence i've connected to the weight of my body you just kind of allow yourself to move um in whatever way never think of it as dance relax your body and just let your body move in whatever way it wants to move you know and like i said the slower the better So as you can see this is not fun for you guys to watch because I'm not performing for you I'm just trying to connect so this is how um internal it has to be you know it's not for others it's for you so it may it doesn't matter if you are like strong or flexible or if you're you know um doing interesting technical things it doesn't matter what matters is how much you're like internally connecting um to your feelings and you have to understand feelings ek to hamare andar se jo aari hoti hain then there's feelings also in your body your body also feels you know your your heels for example might feel a little stressed press to them you know understand why why does your stomach feel a certain way when you are extremely stressed or you think like you just can't fix something or aap ek um um you know ek crucial point pe hai ya ek crisis mein hai aur aapke 
पेज में एक अजीब सी फील फीलिंग आ रही होती है लाइक इट्स काइंड ऑफ लाइक पुलिंग इन एंड इट्स पुलिंग आउट एंड यू नो आई एम श्योर वेमेन कनेक्ट टू मी ऑन दिस so why why is that happening how how you can control that i mean you have control over it you can do it but it's all about just going in okay so so yes there's uh, all these ways um to connect with movement but what i'm talking to you about is really the basic thing you know um aur agar aap khade nahi hain aap baithe hain और आप बैठ के मूव करना चाहते हैं बैठ के यू वांट टू ट्राई डांस हीलिंग थ्रू डांस यू कैन डू दैट इज वेल यू कैन इवन ले डाउन एंड डू इट यू कैन बी ऑन योर बेड एंड डू इट द ओनली थिंग इज यू हैव टू अलाउ मूवमेंट क्या है मूवमेंट इज टू मूव ठीक है फॉर एग्जांपल इफ आई एम विजुअलाइजिंग इट यू नो इट्स गोइंग फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर एंड इट्स ऑल्सो टू स्लो डाउन इट्स ऑल्सो टू गो फास्ट इट्स ऑल्सो टू just stop for a moment it's also to you know start again it's also to just be very slow motion so for example i've started here to here i was very slow okay so all these things um really matter when you are wanting to heal through dance um you have to take it slow um and the easiest way this is like one way of doing it and going deep into it the other way is just to lock yourself in your room um play whatever music you enjoy and just dance just move in whatever way you want without feeling judged without um thinking about um how you might look without recording yourself nothing no cameras no people no eyes just yourself you know if you want to look at yourself in the mirror and appreciate yourself do it you know it uh, you can sit and dance and enjoy music you can stand and do it you can move around all over the place um you know and just just go for it you know i i don't know aap ek playlist laga le 5 minute ki 10 minute ki and keep going you know just keep going you sweat you get exhausted as i always say like you have to take pleasure from your exhaustion when you're dancing you know it's not the end of the world you you will feel so exhausted you'll feel like i'm going to fall you won't fall It'll, you'll just you're just letting go so that's like the easiest way to um go through it rather than you know the the more deep and the more like slow process of what i was telling you that's one thing which you can always try um with someone who can guide you without someone who can guide you but dance is just something you can do whenever you want you know and also there is no such thing as dance music uh, in the sense like music doesn't always have to be friendly for your you know dancing it just you can dance to anything whatever you like i don't know people often say ke fast gana hona chahiye to phir hum dance karenge dance has nothing to do with fast or slow dance is dance you can even just you know pause and dance i mean um it's movement as long as you're breathing you're moving so life is a dance also you know your the way your body works that's also a dance सो so, ये नहीं है कि तेज गाना चलाओ तो फिर मैं डांस अलाउ योर सेल्फ टू ऑल्सो डांस टू स्लो पीसेस एंड सी हाउ दैट फील्स यू नो सी वॉट पार्ट ऑफ यू बिकम्स अ लाइव इन दैट मोमेंट यू नो ओके आई थिंक आई शुड स्टार्ट रीडिंग क्वेश्चन इफ दर्ज एनी क्वेश्चन जस्ट गोइंग टू थैंक यू एवरीबडी फॉर कॉमेंटिंग एंड वॉचिंग Saif Ali says exactly. I really feel when you dance like nobody is watching is when you connect to the highest form of satisfaction and feel content. Absolutely, um, that is something that you should allow yourself to do more often. Uh, not just yourselves as adults, also your children. If your children like to dance, just let them do it. You know, don't sit and make them conscious and be like, okay, okay, now I'm going to make a video for my Instagram. 
let them have their moment. Um, if they feel like performing for you, fine. You, you clap for them or you watch them. But if they're having a moment to themselves, just smile, just let them be, just let them be. And that's why as adults, um, we're not even going to start in front of people when we need that time, because we know we need to like shut ourselves off when we can do it. So yes, um, honestly, even um, dance, ka mal, matlab ye bhi hai ke your body has to be like in perfect health uh, for you to be able to dance. You know, I can be bedridden, God forbid. I can be, you know, on my chair and I can still dance. You know, you'll find your way. Whatever part of your body can move, you can move it. Okay. In whatever capacity, whatever limitations you have in your body, um, you can move that. And if you're interested in going beyond your limitations, um, you can find out what works for you. You can, I don't know, start yoga. You can start, um, I don't know, physiotherapy, um, lots of things that you can try to like create more, you know, space for your body to move in. I have a question. What do you think of mind empowerment through dance and spirituality? Yeah, that's exactly um, what I'm speaking about also in a sense. Um, when you talk about mind empowerment, through dance and spirituality, um, you know, that's something that uh, comes with time. You know, it's it, it's a thing that you, that's, that's what I was talking about earlier, um, that you have to really like be silent, connect with your body first, physical part of it, then go in deeper, then bring out the thoughts and the feelings and the emotions. Um, in that way, when you are in a in a you know in a crucial moment, um, if you're stressed in a moment, you're kind of connected because you've been doing it now for a while. You're kind of connected to that part of yourself, and you're able to just okay sit, relax, and just allow that to flow. You know, um, so that's absolutely. I think. Things like mind empowerment through dance, spirituality, all these things take time. It's not a fast connection that we can make. We have to give it time also and not expect it to happen very quickly. Um, and by the way, as I say all these things, as I, uh, I mean, I can tell you I've experienced it a lot of times myself, but it's not like it's easy for me every time, no matter how much. I do it how often I do it. It's not like it's easy for me. Sometimes I have to put in a lot of effort to um, connect with uh, with that part of myself or like empower my mind or empower um, or like kind of be able to have some sort of um, control, the good healthy control over my emotions in the sense that I let go. Um, all that, all those things don't come very easily every time. So always be patient with yourself. Uh, letting go is an art, I believe. Is it really possible for me to learn letting go through it? Yes, Aruj, definitely. No matter how old you are, uh, no matter what your exposure has been with art, um, you can learn anytime, whether you want to do music, whether you want to sing, whether you want to dance, whether you want to paint, um, you know, whatever you're interested in. Uh, whatever feels good for you, you should definitely um, go for it, you know, and you should definitely um, allow yourself to uh, at least at least try to let go through it. Because, again, if you give it time, you will find yourself being able to let go through it. Because what does art do? Art just brings you closer to yourself. It, it makes you more aware of who you are as a person. Um, how you feel, how you think, how you react, how you talk, how you move, how you sing, all those things, how you express. Okay. And those things are important for us. Um, the more we try to like control them, the more we find it difficult to um, keep going with our, I don't know, commitments in life, relationships in life, um, career, you know. So it, it's very important to be 
connected with yourself and thankfully art any form of art gives you that opportunity selfly says dance brings out our purest emotions and helps us come back to the present with clarity and happiness yes absolutely um selfly also says a lot of people don't understand that dancing actually builds a lot of emotional strength empathy compassion it helps bring in emotional balance absolutely yes it it really does um and and i think i believe that all art forms are connected you know um i chose dance as my profession and acting as my profession but i also sing you know i don't do it professionally but i will i i don't know how to play an instrument but i will just like whatever comes out of it i'll i'll allow myself to just feel happy when i can do it you know i i'm not a painter but i use colors i i draw i paint whenever i want to when i feel like it so i think not just dance but music art um literature everything uh if we connect it it's uh, you know it's it's a full package really and um the only thing that dance has that others might not have is the physical aspect of it because sometimes we think or at least aajkal ki jo hamari zindagi hai usme um body ko hum itna nahi move karte ya hum usko we we just like keep it shut you know and i think uh, again in a pakistani society it's also a lot about for women especially it's a lot about oh you're going to like make people feel you're this bold i don't know sexual woman uh, available for everybody and so that's why you're constantly asked to control that part of yourself uh but i think that's really wrong uh the more you like stop your body from doing something it's not about doing it in public it's about having that confidence even with yourself are you able to look at yourself in the mirror are you able to move alone in a room um the way you want you know um it's it's about that it's not about oh, oh i should like wear shorts when i go out i'm not talking about those things it's about just your own connection with your um body and your movement arena says what exactly makes dance a part of healing is it just being with ourselves like meditation um arena um i i kind of explained that um but i mean dance is you know when you're moving you're letting go and you're not thinking about let's say a choreography you're not thinking about performing or like making anyone else say oh baba kya dance kiya aapne when you dance for yourself you're um you know you're letting go and when you're letting go it's either letting go of um you know physical uh, restraint that you've put on your body or its emotions that are like stuck in your body in your back in your neck in your stomach and you let go of that you know you allow yourself to feel the way you're feeling if you feel like crying while you're dancing you allow yourself to cry if you feel like like exhaling and exhaling strongly you do that you know that's what causes that's what brings healing um through dance you know because you're allowing yourself to feel lighter you know that's the first step first you have to let go of what you're carrying with on you the baggage that you're carrying on yourself first you have to let go of that and then um you think about going deeper you know and then we talk about the deeper healing ke are there any traumas are there are there any like thoughts or any anxiety from the past is it something that i'm thinking of in the future is it something that's happening to me now you know then you start really going into that which like i said takes time and you have to do maybe give yourself 10 minutes every day in order to for you to like find that part of yourself out shilpa says would you recommend any music for spirituality or healing practices um yeah why not i mean um i enjoy a lot of ambient music um if i want to like uh do something like that jo ki jisme bahut zyada ups and downs now i like to hear music 
if I'm working with healing dance that is more in a loop and it keeps going and going and going so that repetition helps you stay um, in your thoughts. It helps you stay and accept and embrace and maybe come face to face with what you're trying to heal or um, how you're trying to make yourself feel, right? So um, Brian Eno is a musician. I could, uh, how do I put it down? B-R-I-A-N, Brian Eno, E-N-O. Um, if you look for some of his music, there's one that I really like, New Space Music, it's called. Um, then there's Thursday Afternoon. Um, they're very long pieces. They're like 30 minute pieces, one hour pieces, but they keep going on and on and on. And any addition to it is very tiny. It's very tiny. It's, uh, it's, it's not like a song that finishes, like it makes you go through ups and downs and finishes in four minutes. Um, for things that Shilpa is talking about, spirituality, healing practices, we have to, um, listen to something silent and something long, something repetitive, okay? For you to really be able to focus and go within. Um, and yeah, there's there's a lot of music that I uh, I listen to right now. I can only think of Brian Eno, um, but you can always search for ambient music or you can message me on Sahaya Bro official or my Instagram. Um, I don't know if you want to ask me. I also take, like, I also teach dance online. Um, and if you are interested in, um, well, if you're interested in learning uh, this way of healing, um, I do lessons for that sessions uh, in groups also and in all, also one on one sessions. Um, so you can, like, I don't know, message me on Instagram, Facebook, um, or email me on danceheartmind at gmail.com. Um, that's, uh, I, we, we can discuss, um, how, when, um, why all of those things. And I also teach Bharatanatyam, um, and, uh, contemporary, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm also going into forms, uh, but if someone starts with me, you know, really someone has the time to give, to explore movement and their body. I don't like to start off with a form. I like to start people off with really getting to know their bodies first, you know, because I don't believe in this thing of dancers' bodies should be a certain way. Everybody is different. Everybody moves differently, uh, reacts differently, feels differently, has its own history. So we have to respect that. We have to feel um, and like first connect to that. And then we can go ahead with learning forms like technical forms like Bharatanatyam, for example. Okay, uh, any more questions? Hmm. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask me. If you're interested in um, taking lessons with me, you can, like I said, email me, message me. If you're interested in uh, the music recommendations, um, message me again. I can, like, send you some links, you know, and from things you can, like, find more things. Um, and if you have any questions, like generally about uh, dance movement, if you're watching this later than the lifetime um, and you'd still like to ask me something, I love um, to, you know, reach out to anybody who reaches out to me with questions, um, not just to say hello. Um, so if you want to do that, I'm happy to, you know, answer anything that you have. And yes, that's where our session ends. Thank you, everybody, for joining and uh, for your lovely comments. Um, I only read the questions, but I'd like to thank everybody um, who was also, you know, saying um, wonderful things uh, about the session. Um, so thank you for joining. <laughs>